Hey there, welcome back. Now in this lecture, let us discuss about our browsable API. So the current status is anyone can visit our browsable API. So that means suppose if we deploy this, this current project on a server, maybe Heroku, maybe AWS, chances are if someone is going to hit this link, maybe our website.com slash watch slash list, they are going to get this browsable API. So usually we prefer to disable this browsable API. If you visit any professional website, maybe coin market cap, maybe this open weather map API or any other website that provide client API to users, you will see their response in JSON. So you can see this particular result. You don't need to understand the result, but you can see this is a JSON result. And here you can see this is a open weather map API. You can see they have temperature, uh, minimum temperature, maximum temperature. So they are sending information in the form of JSON. If I talk about this coin market cap, they are also sending result in the form of JSON. They have some information regarding Bitcoin. So you will get an idea about their price, volume. So they have all type of information with this API, but they are not sending a browsable response. They are sending a JSON response. And how to do that? So all you have to do is in your settings.py, we need to define that we just need a response in the form of JSON. So to get the exact code here, I searched about this on Google, got a stack overflow link, and then I just need to mention my default render class and that's done. So let me copy this one. Also, I can, this is going to be a global setting. If you want this setting for a specific view, you can do that. But I strongly recommend to have this as global setting. Jump back here and inside our REST framework, I'm going to add this at the end. Just make sure to follow the comma so we don't get any error. Jump back here, get back, refresh. Now you can see our response is in the form of this JSON thing. Now the other important thing, the other important part. So as you know, there are two type of phases when we work. There is a development phase and there is a production phase. So there are chances that you want to have a browsable API while working. You can utilize this when you are working on your own local system. You can just comment this, do the changes, uncomment this and push on to your production level. Or you can use a separate env file and do all the other settings. So that's it. That was the main change that I want to discuss in this lecture. And as you know, we were using Postman from last few lectures. So I hope you got the idea why. And this was Django REST framework. That is why we were able to get access to this browsable API. Otherwise our response are in the form of JSON itself. I hope you got the idea why we did that. So that's it for this lecture. Thank you for following and I see you guys in the next one.